One of my favorite topics. As an author, I have worked full-time in the metaphysical and paranormal fields for over 30 years. I have uh, done 62 books on just about every topic you can imagine. In fact, I like to tell people it's A to Z, angels to zombies, and everything in between. And one of my most favorite topics and most important topics to me in my work and my life uh, is dreams. And that is because I became acquainted with the importance of dreams at a very early age, uh, primarily through my mother who had a lot of psychic dreams. And uh, I was in my early teens when uh, she started sharing these dreams with me. Many people who have psychic dreams have distressing dreams. Uh, Masood uh, talked about the example of the airplane crash. And that is often how psychic dreams break through for individuals. And uh, she shared a lot of these dreams with me and it just uh, riveted me that uh, it was the idea that dreaming could look into the future and that would be a real future, something that would actually come to pass. So I started studying my dreams and by the time I was in high school, uh, I was quite the dream adventurer. I taught myself how to project out a body during a dreaming, how to uh, send messages to people that they could get, how to get messages from people. And while my success rate was never 100%, and it never is with anything in the paranormal realms, uh, I had enough success at a very early age to convince me that dreams were something magnificent, wonderful, mysterious, and so important that we absolutely had to pay attention to them. So I've kept dream journals my whole life. Now, Masood and I just met in February in Los Angeles at the Conscious Life Expo. And uh, when we started talking about dreams, uh, I knew that I wanted to be a part of what he was doing because uh, he's bringing dreams into a, a new community where we can all use the internet to discuss and share and learn from each other. Well, over the course of time, uh, I've made a great deal of studying dreams. I've done seven or eight books on dreams. And I have two with me tonight, uh, Dream Work for Visionary Living and Dream Messages from the Afterlife, which is about how the dead visit us in dreams. These are not symbolic dreams. These are literal visits from the dead uh, that do a tremendous service in healing grief and also uh, validating our beliefs and expanding our beliefs about the afterlife. And so uh, whoever wins uh, the raffles tonight can choose from either one of these uh, books uh, to take home. <coughs> I learned uh, over the course of my years of study uh, and experimentation myself with dreams how important they are just in balance in life. Dreams are literally a mirror of truth that reflect back to us how we feel we are doing in life. They are highly emotional in content. They are unique to every individual, and yet they pertain to humanity as a whole. And in fact, there are researchers, and I am of the opinion myself, that dreams are vital to the survival of humanity. That if we did not dream, and we do dream individually and collectively, if we did not dream, it would be uh, a great loss to humanity. It would, uh, we would not have the connectivity that we have in consciousness today. Uh, dreams have been regarded as uh, mysterious, magical, and very important since ancient times all over the world. Uh, they were viewed in ancient times as gifts from the gods. In fact, you didn't have a dream. We, today we talk about, well, I had a dream. But back in ancient times, you were given a dream. It was literally a, a divine gift. And that's really how we need to look at them today, that uh, we may feel that dreams are our personal property, but we are given them. They are uh, a divine gift that connects us to everything in the cosmos, to our entire human history, past, present, and on into the future and uh, it, uh, that dreams also shed light on the path we're on. That's our life journey and our soul's path, path. We can look into past lives, we can look into our future, we can even look into future lives. As Masood mentioned, dreams have great healing energy, great creative energy, and I have experienced all of those things in the course of paying attention to my own dreams. Uh, now, dreams really fell out of favor for a number of centuries, and um, uh, Christianity, frankly, did not do much to uh, propagate the dream. 
Uh, dreams were considered to be illusion, uh, something that you shouldn't be, uh, be paying attention to. And it really was not until the advent of uh, psychology and psychotherapy from the late 19th century on that dreams began to regain importance in Western culture. Uh, they had been given a great honor and importance in ancient times as uh, an activity that um, connected you literally to the gods and you could reach the gods, you could reach the divine through dreams for all kinds of important purposes. Uh, well, since about the mid-20th century, uh, there's been a great explosion in popular dream work, uh, which is what we're sharing now on the internet. And uh, the prevailing wisdom is that uh, you don't need to go necessarily to a professional dream interpreter uh, to understand your dreams. Uh, you really are the only person who can understand your own dreams. And you might get help from other people, the community of dreamers, but ultimately the truth of the dream, dream is up to the individual. So there are these layers to dreams. There's a personal layer, there's a collective layer, and a transpersonal layer, like a, a spiritual layer. And uh, dreams speak in symbols, so a lot of the symbols are intensely personal to us. Uh, there are things that we take from our own background, our own experiences, our culture, things that we have learned. And uh, th then we have universal meanings to the symbols in dreams uh, that come from the collective unconscious, that is the sum of all experiences that human beings have shared throughout history. So uh, these are things that, for example, that most people would agree uh, have a common definition. Uh, and then there's a spiritual level, dreams that really take us um, into direct contact with God, uh, they open our intuition, our spiritual awareness, they expand our consciousness and our understanding of who we are. So if we pay attention to dreams, all of these things start happening for us. But most important, dreams are about how we're doing in life, and that's intensely emotional. Uh, now there is this intuitive psychic component to them and I would like to emphasize that we have psychic dreams all the time. We're not always going to dream about plane crashes, but we are going to dream about previews of things that we're going to do or situations that are going to be arising for us. Our dreams will alert us to things coming down the linear time pipeline, even though dreams go beyond time and space every night. Uh, so the more we pay attention to our dreams, then the more we get out of them. Now, <clears throat> there have been some very unusual stories about dreams throughout the ages of uh, dreams that actually really were quite literal. And there are dreams that uh, we can take at sort of literal face value. And then there are other dreams that we need to look at more from uh, a symbol standpoint. And uh, dreams have uh, opened the door to uh, creativity, to invention, to advancements in technology and science. Uh, and they have come about in very unexpected ways uh, to people who really didn't expect to get answers and breakthroughs through their dreams, but they happened that way. And that's because the dreaming mind does a lot of work for us. If we put a lot of effort into uh, for example, uh, tackling a problem or trying to come up with some, something new and innovative and it turns over and over and over in our mind while we're awake. The dreaming mind continues that work while we're sleeping and will often give us the breakthrough that eludes us in waking consciousness. But sometimes they come in very strange ways, like the sewing machine. Does anyone know the story of how we got the sewing machine? <laughs> 